I didn't expect to be cooking for the dogs, the Queen's dogs, Royal Corgis, when I started working at Buckingham Palace. The Royal Corgis had their own menu. I thought I'd be cooking for kings and queens and presidents. Well, I mean, I did eventually, but one of the first jobs I had was cooking for the Corgis, the Royal Corgis, making fresh food every day. Their own menu. There's been Corgis in the Royal family now since 1933. King George VI, the Queen's dad, uh, brought a Corgi home called Dookie. And that was the start of it. For the next 70 plus years, uh, the corgis have been part of the royal family. The queen was given a corgi for her 18th birthday and called it Susan. And she's had over 30 corgis since then. Here's a list of all the names below. When I was at Buckingham Palace, the queen had 12 corgis. Now she doesn't have any corgis at all, just two doggies. Doggies are a cross between a corgi and a dachshund, a sausage dog. And, and the names are Vulcan and Candy. While the Queen loves the corgis, not all the royal family do. William said the corgis bark all the time. And Harry said, I've spent 33 years having those dogs bark at me. <laughs> they sleep in like little wicker baskets in the corgi room. And they're looked after by two footmen. Doggy one and doggy two, that's what we used to call them and they'd come to the kitchen to fetch the food. And people often ask me, well, what, what do royal corgis eat? Well, I'm gonna show you. The royal corgi menu, the dogs would have a whole selection of different meats, cabbage, and rice. The most important part of preparing the meats was that everything had to be cut into a fine dice, something we call a brunoir a very, very tiny cut. And the reason for that was to be sure that there were no bones at all in the meat. Imagine if any of the dogs were to choke on the bones. The chefs would be in real trouble. I remember the first time I met the Queen and the Corgis. I was at Balmoral Castle, out having a walk along the side of the river. I saw in the distance the Queen and the Corgis, and I got really excited. The Queen was walking towards me, and I thought, this is going to be really cool. I get to meet the Queen for the first time. As she got closer, the dogs saw me, came running towards me, barking like crazy, all of them. I was so scared, I turned around and ran away. And the Queen was laughing. She thought it was really funny. In hindsight, I think it was. But those corgis. I remember we'd fly up to Balmoral on the Queen's flight, the old Andovers in those days. And it was always a privilege to fly with the Queen to Balmoral, but the downside was we had to wear our suit because obviously we were traveling with the Queen. But it meant the corgis were coming with us as well. And it was quite drafty and cold on the plane. And so the corgis would actually come and lay by your feet and you get dog hairs all over your new suit. And you couldn't kick them away or anything in case they yelped. I mean, kick them away nicely. In case they yelped and the queen heard, then we'd be in real trouble. At the smaller houses like Sandringham, the dogs would actually come into the kitchen sometimes. I remember being at Sandringham and I was putting a beef wellington into the oven and I didn't see one of these little corgis come running into the kitchen, sniffing around for food. I stepped back, almost tripped over as I was putting the beef wellington into the oven. And I thought to myself then, uh oh, it's a good job I didn't drop it. Otherwise that corgi would be going in the oven. Okay, I'm joking, it wasn't really. In the royal kitchens, it was just, you know, like being a normal family. You know, dogs running in and out of the kitchen all the time. It wasn't just the Queen's dog, the Corgis. The Prince of Wales dog, Tigger, the Jack Russell. Here's a picture of me holding him after he ran in the kitchen. It wasn't all bad with the Corgis. I think I had my favourite. Chipper was my favourite. 
He was a doggy. There's a picture of me and him. So that's the royal corgi food. Chicken, beef, rabbit, liver. And sometimes the dogs would have a little problem with their constitution. And so there'd be some rice and cabbage to mix in with the meat too. Even though I spent hours chopping dog food, I, I often wondered what the favorite food was of the corgis. The queen fed the dogs, so I never got to see which one they went for and what their favorite was. We can't test it here in the kitchens because we're not allowed real dogs in the Eating Royally kitchens. But I had to find out. With a real corgi. <laughs> Does he choose the beef, the chicken, the liver, the rabbit? It's the beef. Real corgis love beef. Thanks for watching my video on the royal corgis. Please subscribe to my channel and leave a comment below sharing how much you pamper your pooches. Do they get canned food or fresh cooked like the Queen's dogs? I've added a link in the description to get the adorable stuffed corgi in the video. I just know someone's going to ask for it. See you again soon.